With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, everybody. So it is given that the tangents from alpha comma beta to the ellipse x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equals to one intersect at right angle. show that the locus of the point of intersection of the normal at the point of the contact of the two tangents is the line ay minus alpha y minus beta x is equals to 0 so the given equation of the ellipse is x square upon a square plus y square upon b square is equals to 1 let theta and phi be the eccentric angles of the point of the contact of two tangent from alpha comma beta so the equation of the tangents at point theta and phi will be equation of the tangent at theta and phi will be x cos theta upon a plus y sin theta upon b is equals to 1 let us say this is equation this is equation 1 this is equation 2 and by phi it will be x cos phi upon a plus y sin phi upon b is equals to 1 let us say this is equation 3 now since line 2 and 3 are at right angle this is given that these two lines intersect at right angle so the slope of both these lines will be so the slope of line this and this will be m1 m2 m1 into m2 must be minus 1 the product of these two slopes are minus 1 so according to condition the slope of line 1 is b upon a cot theta and line 2 will be minus b upon a cot phi sorry it is minus so it must be equal to minus 1 so by simplifying it we get tan theta tan phi equals to minus b square upon a square now since uh, let us say this is equation 4 now since alpha beta is the point of the intersection of line 2 and 3 Therefore, we can put in uh, alpha beta in equation second and third. Then it will become alpha cos theta upon a plus beta sin theta upon b is equals to 1. And similarly, in the uh, if we put in equation 3, it will become alpha cos phi upon a plus y sin sorry beta sin phi this is beta beta sin phi upon b is equals to 1 let us say this is equation 5 and this is equation 6 also equation of normals at point theta and phi r now we will find the equation of normals equation of normals at angle theta and phi will be a x secant theta minus b y cosecant theta is equals to a square minus b square let us say this is equation 7 
and at angle phi it will be a x secant phi minus b y cosecant phi is equals to a square minus b square let us say this is equation 8 now in order to find the locus of the point of in intersection of these two lines we have to eliminate theta and phi from these two so we will do what we will do we will do 7 minus 8 equation 7 minus equation 8 so we get ax cos phi minus cos theta upon cos theta minus cos phi is equals to b y sin phi minus sin theta upon sin theta minus sin phi let us say this is equation 9 and by subtracting 6 equation 5 from equation 6 we will get alpha upon a cos phi minus cos theta is equals to minus beta upon b sin phi minus sin theta let us say this is equation 10 so from here what we will do we will divide equation 9 by equation 10 dividing equation 9 by equation 10 we get the value of a square x is upon alpha cos theta cos phi is equals to b square y upon beta sin phi sin theta sin phi now it will become by cross multiplying we get tan theta tan phi is equals to b square upon a square y upon x into alpha upon beta and we know that we already found the value of tan theta and tan phi by equation 4 it will become minus b square upon a square is equals to minus b square upon a square y, dot y upon x into alpha upon beta this is from equation from 4 hence it will cancel out and it will be y alpha minus x beta is equals to 0 this is our required locus that we have to prove hope you guys get it Thank you and have a nice day. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.